Hey, welcome back. Uh, another little installment of Ready, Set, and Let's Continue. Um, so I kind of wanted to like, dive into this because um, <clears throat> I touched upon it in two videos now. Um, the getting shit done and the uh, when I was doing the alternative history of, um, of the Nazis. And that being um, uh, about Vril. Now, I, I was kind of like looking up some stuff because I wanted to educate myself a little bit more about the history. Uh, I, I know a lot about um, Vril energy itself, um, but I didn't know the history as much. Um, I really wanted to dive into that more. And... I was shocked at how much, uh, when I was looking up Vril, that Vril has so much um, of this negative, uh, like, uh, stuff about it. I mean, Vril itself is negative, but, you know, everyone kind of seemed like, they were viewing Vril as this negative energy, this negative force, thinking of it as just the Vril society. And the Vril society isn't, was never actually uh, intended as a negative force. So to kind of educate everyone a little bit about what exactly is Vril, uh, real works like this. We're just going to, I'm, I'm going to try to be, um, like, I'm not, I won't go too technical. And I'll try to keep it as simple as possible. And I did mention in the Nazi video that quite often real energy is compared to, like, in fiction, um, like Star Wars the force it's everywhere okay uh you could tap into it at any point uh the most um what really stuck to me like trying to open myself to uh to real energy was the idea of it's like you know when you're trying to get your energy to mix with all energy around you, it's like mixing water with water. You know, once it's mixed, like from one glass to another glass, you can't unmix it. You can pour from it, you can pour it back, but you can't unmix it. And that's like, you know, how it goes. Sorry, I'm going, I'm do so on the computer here as I do this video but uh so you know yes real is like when you're when we're talking um conspiracy type stuff uh when it's linked to like Illuminati type um stuff uh things we're talking like all they're doing is taking, uh, you know, something basic and then warping it. Vril itself is not negative, okay? It's just, it isn't, because it's everywhere. It means that if, if you're going to consider Vril as negative, then everything is negative. Okay? So, if you consider yourself a good person then you just prove that Vril is, can be positive. It's no, it's just neutral. That's it. And going back to the analogy of water, that, you know, just like water, you know, it's neutral. You drink, you have to drink water to feel, uh, you know, to keep yourself alive, and that's positive. But, you know, if you get dragged under water, you can drown, and it becomes negative. It's not that it has 
you know, malicious intent, it just is. So, um, like, when you're accessing real energy and you, you get that point where you're open, now it's, you know, you start with, like, like, basically uh, a form of um, meditation. Uh, you know, it's, you know, you're, you're going to access your third eye. You know, the pineal gland. Okay? Um, can't really, you know, it's in there. Okay? It's like in the center. Kind of like here, in the middle of the brain. Um, you know, it's your third eye. So you want to access that. You want to look into the light of it. Like deep into your mind, deep into your soul. And then from there, you want to produce your internal vril from within. I usually, like, you know, for, like, to, to do it, like, you know, you got your th third eye open, but then, like, in here is where you want to, you know, blow the heart, or, like, kind of at the bottom of the ribs, kind of picture it as, like, a, a bubble, and it's growing, and you want to make it grow and grow, and then uh, project it outward, where it just fills the room, and keep thinking of it as it's, you know, past the next point, so it fills the room, it fills the house, it goes past the house, it fills the town, it, move, it fills the city, it fills the state, it fills the country, it fills the world, it fills, you know, the universe, it fills all of space. I know it's big, but understand, it's just energy. Once you tap into energy, it's faster than light. It's instantaneous. It's, it's thought. It just think it and it goes. Uh, once you are tapped in like that, you have that connection to, to the real energy, to everything around you. And you gotta like project that from here all the way out. But don't go instantly from here to like trying to fill all of space with it. You want to, you know, build, build, build. That's the easiest way. Okay. Once you have that, now it's like, it's like being connected to high, high speed, the most high speed Wi-Fi you got. You can access anything. Um, you can use it to project uh, good feelings to people. You can also use it to project bad feelings. Um, I'm not saying to do it. I, I would much rather uh, all of us to project love with real to everyone. And you can do that. You can actually, once you're tapped in, you can project it at, you know, any which way, any type of thought. And, you know, with that, you know, if, if we all, like, open ourselves up to it, um, you know, we can brighten everyone's day just by, you know, accessing that and allowing us so, to be open like that. And, uh, you know, it, recently I, I finally reconnected with that portion of me. It's been... I've been disconnected and been away for so, so long, and I really feel like, like I'm, I'm me, I'm, I'm my old self, it's great, um, and, you know, this, I mean, it's only been, like, 24 hours, but it's, it's great, I, you know, it's sticking, I, I feel, I feel like anger is let loose a little bit, uh, depression definitely isn't holding like yeah I'm a little sad about some things but it's not ruling me now in fact I'm more 
like I, I still feel that little bit of sadness, but I feel more happiness. I feel loved, too. And that's another thing about Frill is that you can, like, when you're feeling down, and this is, like, what's really crucial for, like, if you're going to use this for, um, like, healing yourself with, you know, healing your depression, is that you can actually tap into it and allow only all of the positivity in the world to all that energy to transfer into you. You can use other people's positive reinforcement. You know, it, it, it's great. It, it, I mean, think about that. Now, don't you want to? Don't you want to be connected to this universal energy where possibilities are endless? You can brighten your day by just closing your eyes, look inward, and project outward, and then receive. And it really is that easy. Once you can do it, I mean, I know a lot of you, it's really hard to meditate. Um, for a long time, I, I believe that I could never meditate. You know, I have uh, ADD, and, you know, because of that attention deficit, it's, you know, it's... Um, it gets a little, you know, you get distracted easily. So, but once I, I uh, started meditating, I realized how truly easy it was to start tapping into it. And then I, um, as I was talking about stuff, um, about conspiracies, uh, it was actually about the Nazi party. And I was talking about Vril with, uh, with a friend of mine. And she was the one that uh, actually opened up to me that she uh, was practicing real energy transference, and uh, and I had been meditating. She's like, "Well, meditating is a, a a step into it, and you know nothing wrong with it, but you know you can go way past that. Meditation often um, in spiritualism." often still makes you aware of your physical body but will tell you that there's energy within and you can project it but the reality of it is and this is where real goes that's next step is that the body is the illusion okay these glasses they, it's an illusion it's it's just energy condensed that's all which is. So, I mean, if I really wanted to, with enough practice, I'm, I won't even need these glasses. I can, you know, what's wrong with my eyes that I need these? I can fix. You can rearrange that energy. You can rearrange it to anything you need to get things done. The question is, how far are you going to allow yourself to be connected? Now, understand, we are we are creatures of learned behavior. Okay, like everything that we do, depending on where you live in the world, like accents, that's learned behavior. Okay, you don't grow up in Kenya with an Irish accent. It's learned. You know, um, like uh, like a lot of Indians will kind of do the head bob type thing, and it's uh, it's kind of like a as it was explained to me, like kind of this um, greeting type thing, like a friend, like I don't know, considered as like inviting type thing. It's kind of weird to me, honestly, because here in the U.S., it's like people that kind of are like jolty like that or like is this person mentally ill not judging I'm just saying you know learn behavior once again it's another it's a finer example but uh, so we have to break learn behavior you know um, 
you know, it, it's it's like with religion, it's once again learned behavior. You know, you have to reprogram yourself to see different possibilities. You know, like you know, everyone asks like, you know, when you die, where does your soul go? Easy, it's energy. You know where it went. It's all around. It just leaves here, floats around, and one day will recondense into a material uh, essence. It's like uh, the Buddhists, you know, being reincarnated as um, as an animal or plant or whatever. That's what they're talking about. So, you know, real is a, a part of society already. We just don't call it real. We just don't fully understand its true possibilities. And that's, that's the difference. Um, so, um, I really, you know, I, I really love talking about this. Uh, you know, if I just don't know what where to go I don't, with it right now in this conversation because I don't know what you guys want to hear because there's so much about it. Uh, if you got questions, you know, talk to me. I, I'm very open to um, discussing anything you want. Um, I, I can do it through comment. I can do it through video or if you want something a little bit more private as a conversation, I'm willing to give you guys like my gmail or something and we could talk through there so but yeah i don't know if you guys can even tell like compared to other videos that i've done especially recently i think that there's a big um a noticeable difference uh compared to some of the uh recent videos to now and like you know how I how I appear. There's there's something there. There's a difference. Um, just even looking into this camera screen here, you know, watching myself, it it's actually um, what's the word? <laughs> uh, it's very therapeutic. It's eye opening third eye opening <laughs> um, but yeah it's cool so um, I hope you're all cool to each other and uh, you know like I said come, please you know I know I'm just starting out and I don't have many views I don't have many subscribers um, but yeah keep you know if you dig what I'm talking about any of the videos uh, share you know, comment. I think I said even before, like, even if you have something negative, say, tell me. Just don't be like, you know, oh, uh, you're a fucking faggot, you know, uh, be constructive with it. Tell me why you don't like what I'm doing. And, um, you know, I can learn from it. Because that's what life is. It's, it's learning. That's the secret of life. It's a learning process. We are all moving forward. We're all changing constantly. Our molecules are always changing. And um, as I learned in um, this like mental wellness class I, I, I've been taking, that you know our, our molecules are always moving. We're all, they're always changing. And when we say that we can change, it's bullshit because we are always changing. Our body is always in a state of change. So when you say that you can change, it's bullshit. You know, you're just not allowing your thought process to change. You're hindering the natural progression of your, of your energy. And that's what it is. I know I, it kind of sounded like I contradicted myself that molecules are changing. But molecules are, once again, energy. It's just they're transferring from cell to cell 
mutate into um, different forms and making reactions. So, but anyway, um, hope to hear from all of you soon. And, um, you know, if, if you're one of those people that actually checks out my stuff and been watching, you know, stay tuned. I, I, I really think that I got some cool stuff coming up soon. Uh, not quite sure what that is. I have to, I'm going to do some research. I'm going to look some stuff up. You're definitely going to see some more, um, a walk on the dark side videos because I love doing that stuff. Um, I would love to get, uh, uh, some, some people to guest on this, uh, show. It would be cool to just kind of have someone else. Just imagine someone else right about here and me and them rebuttling thoughts or debates or whatever. But yeah, um, I make these videos really long. I really never mean to. And once again, this is why exactly it is because I ramble. But I love you all. I'll catch you on the flip side. And see you soon. Bye.